probably look at these a lot closer. <laughs> these topics. Yeah, I didn't study the topics at all, even though I came up with them. I looked at like three of them. I just glanced through them, but I think I have it down for the most part. And I honestly didn't. <laughs> Only thing I know about Comic Con is the Superman Batman movie. Uh, Godzilla movie. Ooh, wait. That pa I didn't even. I didn't even watch it all the way through. I was too tired. Yep. They had the Godzilla encounter there, which was almost like an amusement park attraction. All right. Let me just tweet out the stream. <laughs> And done. So should we work our way from the top? And wait, what? So we're playing my first. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. What? <laughs> oh. What the hell is that? I don't know. So should we start? From the Family Guy Simpsons crossover, or let's talk about Comic Con first? Opinions? Anyone? Uh, <laughs> I don't I'd, really watch Family Guy at all, so I, have I no had no clue about either until like Comic Con actually happened. Because they announced it at Comic Con. I know, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like. I was like, oh, Comic Con's happening. Since when? Since when? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, this year, but still. I have no clue. It's an it unknown well. to you. Is it weird that Comic-Con happens every, like, July, towards the end of July, huh, Chandler? Do you not know how to Comic-Con? I usually don't, like, stay tuned to that stuff. <laughs> Shut up. That, obviously, I don't hear about Comic-Con until, like, some big happen, like, new comic book movie or something like that. Just announced at Comic-Con. And it's like so many Comic Cons, I don't know which one to keep up with. It's like a <laughs> Denver Comic Con. Um, Wait, that one doesn't even count. <laughs> it doesn't? What? It's so terrible. It, um, New York Comic Con, Chicago Comic Con, which. I think the only ones that matter are like San Diego and New York. I thought it was like once a year, what the fuck? It's like a Comic Con in like each city, from what I've heard. And all of that jazz. All that jizz. Jizz? That's no. Jizz. No. No. That's not. I don't know much about the Family Guy slash Simpsons crossover, so. And I didn't really want to read it. <laughs> <laughs> That's. <laughs> With the Family Guy Simpsons crossover, I just see, yeah, they're both running out of ideas. It's. Yeah, well, it's kind of self explanatory. Like, you know, we're just running out of ideas. And we're going to transfer to the second topic, which is like the Microsoft with the NSA and all of that. Um, um, I... Every big American company like Facebook, Google, I have a feeling they're all in on it. Because what are you going to do when the government comes knocking at your door? Uh oh. I'm in You're Canada. Be like, no. <laughs> I'm in That's Canada. He's <laughs> lucky. He's lucky. Whatever, like, what happened to the land of, I see it as like, what happened to the supposed land of the free? Because, like, we got, like, we're basically watched over, like, every day. And now people are just recognizing, like, oh, man, it's going to be on the Xbox and all of that, man. You know, Microsoft is sellouts. But this is something that's been happening, like, for the past, I don't know, forever. Yeah. I can't even say past, because it's been happening forever. That's why I don't even really care that much because what are you gonna do? Exactly. It's, it's not like physically affecting my life at all. People are so. people are just getting upset because they're just now figuring out they've been doing this forever now, forever. I can forever. imagine the whole thing about like the NSA spying on Germany because well, it's a different country, but everybody spies on everybody. We're even guilty of like spying on. RX is on Facebook or something, so... We don't need to talk about that, no. <laughs> Everybody does it, okay? That's what it comes down well, to. Well, not me. Yeah, yeah, I do. Sorry. Everybody does. Hey, let me just go to our Facebook profile pictures. And I don't understand why I still have a Facebook. 
with my only seven friends. <laughs> Why don't you add people in real life? Because all my friends are in real life think Facebook is for faggots. Your friends wow, are people. Wow, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing to say is, like, you got a Facebook? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you're a faggot then. Leave us alone. <laughs> hey, I use it to keep in touch with my family. Because they're That's only half a country. What, so. what, like, what happened to texting and calling each other? That's boring. <laughs> that's yeah, boring. but I'd like to see like pictures and stuff. I don't have a smartphone, so. I just use it for family, really. Yeah. I remember I was talking to my mom. She's like, she said, "You got a Facebook?" And I was like, "Uh, yeah. Add me on Facebook, and I'm gonna tag you in every photo we take with each other." I'm like, "No, you, no, you're not. No, no, thank that you." Can't happen. No that, one can that, see my that. face. I have <laughs> tags blocked because anytime somebody tags me, it's like a really terrible picture. <laughs> like spam even I get that a lot that's annoying it's like my mom had me on Facebook once she was like we went to like six flags that week and she took a bunch of pictures of me and like every photo album she took a picture of me and my mom is such a Facebook addict like we could go to Walmart and she put at Walmart <laughs> with Kendall Jackson I'm like okay thanks mom <laughs> she's on Foursquare <laughs> at McDonald's <laughs> Going to work with Priscilla Brooks takes a selfie. I'm like, oh my god, mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's just like ridiculous, but yeah. Going to pick up some tampons <laughs> at Walmart. <laughs> Using the coupon Facebook gave me. Twenty percent off my tampex. <laughs> oh man. All right, we like strayed off topic. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the NSA, and we're talking about tampons. That's <laughs> great. Don't worry. Um, if you add me on Facebook, I'll give you like a twenty percent coupon off soda, off a twelve pack of soda. I quit drinking soda, so. <gasps> oh, okay, that's good. Hey, I lost ten pounds, so. Oh, okay. Um, I'm still gonna drink soda. And get fat and bloated and have pimples all over and my face. And diabetes. Too late. I already have it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You'll get mega diabetes. Mega di diabetes. diabetes. Super Type diabetes. Five. Um. <laughs> now, okay, I probably. Just for you saying, like, from you saying that, it's kind of me, kind of making me not drink soda anymore. <laughs> I wonder if it is possible to get like mega diabetes like okay you can have diabetes and high blood pressure and all that cause you know it's common in black people to have like high blood pressure for me and all that fried chicken apparently no I didn't know that learn something new every day <laughs> not sure if it's fact I think it's not. just as common in white people so no, no. my dad has it because I, my grandfather died from um, high blood pressure, and it was. I don't understand the point of like having eating unhealthy. Because I was basically raised to eat healthy, like eat salad and all that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm you know. Look, salad, ice cream. Hey, how are you into like salad? I hate salad. lettuce. Fuck. I don't understand. I don't understand either. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next topic. What is? Okay, I come up. Microsoft. Oh wait, I skipped the topic. Oops. Fan petition to restore Microsoft old Xbox One policies. They're on fucking crack. Next topic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like Microsoft about it. responds like to pop, uh, petition. Pop petition. Papa John's. But basically <laughs> Xbox okay. But um basically Microsoft responded back, they were like, What the fuck's wrong with you? Shame on you. Like you guys like basically people bitched at them to restore their policies. They was like, What are you doing? It was like you do you guys want us to reverse the um DRM policies and all that? <laughs> they finally reversed them and then people are like, No, what are you doing? Back. No, what are you doing? <laughs> You I want to be please one. the internet. We all know this. <laughs> the internet's so bipolar. Hey, what are There's you no doing? pleasing of the internet. It's like, so 
Seriously. And one thing they announced at Comic Con, which I got from Machinima, uh, they announced they were gonna um, do like they were gonna with the DVR recorder installed on both systems. They were gonna um, record like the last 15 minutes of gameplay or something like that, and have like your own personal video editor inside the console itself. Yeah. Um, that's that's, that's gonna a, be. They pointed that out at, uh, e I think they did that at the console reveal. That sounds terrible. Oh my god, can you imagine, like, so many 12-year-olds, like, uploading, like, montages of them, like, getting all these dumb retarded shits, like, guys, watch me do, be the next, uh, try to think of a Call of Duty commentator, uh, what's the gamer tag? <laughs> yeah, he's the first one that comes to mind for some reason. Wingsy. I'm gonna be the next Woody's gamer tag. Don't worry. Ugh. Call of Duty is gonna pay my bills. <laughs> Call of Duty pays my bills. But I don't. Know, you just can't please the internet, like you said. And also, after you know Dan Matters <laughs> left for Zynga, which is really fucking awkward in my opinion. We discussed that like on the last gap. Why did he leave? Microsoft. Because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> He's a terrible spokesperson. And he's yeah. the same guy who made EA what it is today. And he just fucked F Xbox over. He's like, alright, I'm just gonna jump on Z this shit. It does not look good. It's already down the drain, you know? What's what's worse gonna Cafe happen? Cafe World 2.0 coming to Xbox One! Isn't there supposed to be like an integrated game capture for the next gen consoles? Or? Yeah. yeah, it's supposed to supposedly yeah. record Both the last consoles. 15 minutes of gameplay and save it on your console and all that jazz. Mm hmm. Yippee! Uh, I don't understand how it, how it honestly work. Yeah. Well, everything's be able web to, like, based. Yeah, but would you be able to transfer it to like a PC so you could edit it or what? I guess you have to do it like upload, know. upload it to YouTube, make it private, and then download it off somehow. Probably. Like that. Yeah, can't you re-download your YouTube videos? I think. Yeah, you can have like download YouTube size. downloader and all of that. Not that I'd ever want to put those videos back onto my hard drive. Yeah. I don't understand the point of console recording. I don't know how it makes it, makes it easier for everybody. Like, this is visionary, even though the quality is gonna look like shit anyway. <laughs> what do you mean console recording? Yeah, like with this like they're supposed to have this DVR console recorder and you can edit it inside the console itself. Like oh, how strong... I think it's better to just capture it with a fucking card and edit Even it on the computer. Cheap. Like everybody else has been doing forever, so. Yeah. Wasn't it possible once, like, to, like, record your Call of Duty gameplay and then post it on Facebook and then rip it from Facebook and then post it on YouTube? What? I have no, no, you, no. idea. There's, like, I remember uh, something that was, like, uh, you could upload, like, what was it, like, 30 seconds oh, onto it's, YouTube? I know what you're talking about, okay. Um, I know in some games, like, you can upload screen caps to, like, Facebook straight from the game. Like, Dragon's Dogma does that. Anybody has ever played that? No? No? Mm, no. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I only play FPS, you know. That's all I play. FPS gamer for life. For live. I wish I had, like, <laughs> that in, like, Skyrim on the Xbox. Because at the time... That's what I'd Dragon's Dogma is like. Shit. Skyrim. Yeah. It's like Capcom's version of Skyrim. And it's more <laughs> difficult. But not yeah. as much content. Of course, nothing has as much content as Skyrim. Yep, uh, should we continue to the next topic? We talked about... Wait, we're we on to it. We already talked about that. We don't need to talk about the new Xbox boss, because she ran IE and all that dumb shit. <laughs> Xbox! Cause nobody used Internet Explorer anyway. Every time I, every time I, every time Internet Explorer pops up on my computer, it just crashes my computer and I have to restart. Exactly. <laughs> my It'll parents like still use it. it. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What's man? wrong with you? This is the 21st century. <laughs> Even yeah. my mom thinks like fucking Internet Explorer is shit. Yeah, same with mine. I got my mom to hate everything except for Google Chrome. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is this? 
<laughs> My mom can build computers, but she still uses Internet Explorer. <laughs> like she's horrible. licensed. She's like certified as a <clears throat> as a computer tech. So. That's like yeah. my grandfather. He's really good with computers, but he still uses like the fucking default uh, mic Microsoft um, virus protection. I'm like, oh that? my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I Fire will go. <laughs> Fire exactly. Will protect me. <laughs> Anything that can fucking surpass that. He's like, no, it works. He's it's like, no, I don't use Windows Explorer. I have to, you know, search up Run first. If I want to find files, I have to use Run. I can't use Windows Explorer. No, I can't do that. Windows 98 for the win. <laughs> Fuck. 95. Fuck y'all. Damn. That's Windows when I first started. <laughs> In my basement, I have like this old, like this old Mac. Um, I forget what model it was. It was like one of those original old Macs that my grandfather gave to me, and he was like. And it was like he got it for my eighth, like my eighth birthday. And he was like, "Here, I got you a computer." And he was like, "Here, you're gonna, you're gonna have this as his computer. This is gonna show you how to build computers. We're gonna take this apart during the summer." <laughs> is it like one of those Macs where it's just like a black screen with like the little blinking? It's it's one of those Macs <laughs> that look like a little mini television. That it's like a, it looks like a television with a VCR combined it, and it's like. What is Oh yeah, it's like on top of each other. Yeah, oh. and the keyboard is connected, and it comes like with a laser jet printer and everything. And it's probably Ew. yellow in color by now. <laughs> Ew, and and like soon as you turn it on, only thing you see is like command prompts, and it's all yeah, in green. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just command prompts. Just all command prompts. I'm like, oh my god, this is just fucking serious terrible. Serious pong. Back in the '80s. But <laughs> <laughs> everything was in black and white back then. <laughs> they don't have HD in the '80s. What? But topic number six: PC sales are at a all-time low, low, low. That's weird. I call bullshit. Yeah, I, I do too because I'm getting like shit tons of friends that have like converted from like Xbox and PS3 to PC. Okay, are they just Probably. counting like fully built PCs, or are I they guess counting like from the article it says? Um, Reports that worldwide PC shipments fell to 76 million units in the second quarter of the year. A 10 I just hope it's because drop. people are getting smarter. Who buys factory <laughs> built PCs? Who still buys Dell? You'll be surprised with <laughs> yeah. so yeah, many people with Dells. <laughs> Dude, you're getting a Dell. Like in Jamaica, a Dell is like the highest line of computers. Yeah, people are just getting smarter. They're just making their computer instead of buying a piece of shit. And it's like cheaper and it lasts longer. Okay. Well, actually, I had a Walmart computer. It was an HP that lasted for like 11 years. My laptop, my last laptop, it was a Dell. My old computer before the old one, the old one, but I had it. old e machines. Don't get e machines, period. Don't. <laughs> Don't get e machines. Don't get anything in e machines. If you see something in e machines, just run away. My first computer was a Canon. What? It's fucking old. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Canon? Mine was this actually as well. I don't remember that. Mm -mm. I remember it was like mine was really old, really shitty, but it could run Maple Story, so I just played that. Maple Story? Come on, oh. we're in the world of S Carmen San Diego. That's what I was playing. Yeah, good point. But I, I was like. I remember being nine, like the coolest thing to play when we were nine on Windows was freaking pinball. And nobody knew how to play solitaire in my house, apparently. Jumpstart first grade. No. Word physics. Word. Am I too old for everybody in here? Uh-oh. <laughs> nobody played jumpstart? I heard of it. Oh my god. Never played it. Shame on you. I'm sorry. I think it went all the way up to, like, sixth grade or something. I... <laughs> I would just play that at my friend's house, and they had like this drawing program in it, and I would color the same frog in over and over again, different <laughs> colors, and just keep printing out the same frog in like different <laughs> colors. I just remember being what? younger and being on a computer, just feeling retarded. And when I think about it now, <laughs> I just feel so stupid. Oh like my I God. used to play pinball like all the time. Now when I think about it, I'm like, 
Dude, I was a fucking idiot. <laughs> We had internet, I just didn't know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> or going into paint and like drawing multiple lines and then using the paint bucket and then like pressing it multiple times and have like different colors. <laughs> I'm like, how stupid can I possibly be? I was used to drawing. Paint was paint my first thing. drawing thing. That's how I got into drawing. Mm. I, I can barely draw a decent fucking stick figure, so I can't talk about drawing. I started off doing pixel art. Like, um... One time in first grade, we had to do, like, these, um, popsicle sticks, you know, as an art project. And I was supposed to make a house, and I was so retarded. <laughs> and, um, I didn't actually make a house, like, a 3D house, you know, with the standing structure and everything. I just made a roof. And like the kind of like a door, and glued it onto paper and turned it into a teacher. I got a D minus. Oh, I know what you mean. So like a fucking two D shape instead of three D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just remember using like pipe cleaners for art projects. Oh boy, art projects. I don't remember like actually doing any crafts. I remember eating play doh. Play-Doh tastes like shit. I had that Play-Doh McDonald's salty. thing. It was too salty. So you're saying if it wasn't that salty, you'd eat it. Like, no. still. <laughs> Legit, yeah. <laughs> it looked like it would taste good. Exactly. It was like... Yeah, it was good. <laughs> I fucking love Shannon's thought <laughs> again. It's like, oh, so you love playing with Play-Doh when you're older. Uh, kind of. <laughs> Ate it. <laughs> And at the daycare, my mom used to send me it. And, like, they always used to serve hot grits. And I used to, like, nope, you Ew. Play Grits are so gross. Fuck are grits. <laughs> you don't know what grits are? Oh, it's so gross. I can't stand oatmeal, so that's probably why I hate grits. Yeah, I can't eat oatmeal either. I might know. It smells eat. good, it but it tastes like, like crap. It looks like puke. It looks like somebody puked it up. Cinnamon grit. I mean, cinnamon um, oatmeal. It's like it's chunky, like, creamy I looking bark. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> he has to Google with the <laughs> Yes. Oh, I never did gross. like Pop-Tarts when I was a child. It looks like puke, like mashed potato vomit. It does. Oh yeah, did I give you the link to the stream? How can you eat that? That's like... Ew. Ali, did, oh. did I give you the link for the stream? What do you mean? I Not found it on that. Twitter. Oh, there you go. I'm confused. I don't know. But I remember not eating Pop Tarts because my mom didn't want me to eat Pop Tarts. You didn't have a childhood. <laughs> yeah. I used to eat, um. My mom used to cook me breakfast, so she said, fuck that shit. Pokemon cereal? Oh, yeah. That was the best. Oh, I fucking wish. I had Scooby Doo cereal. When I, I found like, I finally found out about, uh, Pokemon cereal, I was so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I ever get that shit? I feel like I remember doing the most stupidest stuff when I was a child. Like, I used to actually wait to eat the whole bowl of cereal and not stick my hand through to get the prize. Oh. And my mom would take the prize out of the cereal box like the dick she is. <laughs> Back in my day, you didn't get the prize. You would have to turn in box tops and uh... mail them in. And they would give you, like, I had this sweet waterproof... Echo the Dolphin watch Important. that I got from a cereal box thing. <laughs> it was like four proofs of purchases, and my mom sent it in. Oh, man. It was so cool, and then it popped. That'd Aww. be the easiest thing to forge, though. You can't stop. This Wait. was like 94. Yeah, good point, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna be 24 what, years old, what, so. Wait, what did. What do people? What is the currency for box tops now? Like, what do you use box top now to give like, le you know, children in Africa leapfrog laptops and all that gay shit? <laughs> leapfrog laptops. Can you imagine the African children getting oh, leapfrog God, laptops? Right. These is this is coming from children <laughs> who, whose classrooms are outside under a tree. I wish they still made Sega Picos. See, honestly, that was before leapfrog. That was my first console thing. My first I remember, console like, thing. My brother's leapfrog because I wanted one. 
<laughs> yeah, what is that? <laughs> what? what did you I was like, for? pissed off, so I just tossed it at the ground and it didn't break. I was like, what? I want to play the alphabet game. <laughs> Chandler, you're, you're a terrible brother. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, how about you? If I can't get a leapfrog, you can't have a leapfrog. <laughs> I'm fucking glad I didn't get one. I think there's a special uh, place in hell for you. Oh, man. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the thing I remember when we, since we're talking about toys, you know, like those, um, those dogs they used to have? And you like, you stick like a USB cord in there, like their asshole in there, play music out of their ears or something? Dude, I what? still have oh. one of those, but it's oh, a fish. Oh, what are they called? It's like an eye fish. You're like, yeah, eye dog. It's almost like fur real friends or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. That's not even that old, okay? It's oh, a that's... You want to talk about old toys? I can't even think about old toys. My mom got me a sketch edge for Christmas. I play Legos. An etch a sketch. Like... Etch a sketch, sketch edge. That's the blue, like black version on the black market. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the knockoff. <laughs> From it's, Dollar General. It's just, oh yeah. <laughs> All seriousness, I think she might have actually got it from Dollar General. I must have like. There's nothing wrong with Dollar General, right? C E E, I'm normal. I get like my family nowadays get everything from Dollar General. I shop at Dollar General still. I get it from my mom. She used to shop there all the time. Plus, it was like the only store out by where we lived in the middle of nowhere, like way back. I remember when um, I used to have Legos and I used to build like these little mini towers. I wasn't good at that. So I used to be like really stupid and just grab the Legos and tie them up by a stream like in a bag and like try to flush them down the toilet. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I don't know I what I was- get that bored as a child. Or I used to have like um a Rugrats, <laughs> Rugrats um, was it no? I think it was Rocket Power. Oh my God! And like um Squid, I used to just tie them down, just flush them down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> and then like my dad would get in there like, what the hell are you doing? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flushing my toys down the toilet. He's like you know We're how like much I pay for that. Off topic. Let's. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh! Topic for a while. <laughs> We're like on our sixth topic? Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Let's just continue as. No. Let's just continue. Uh, the PS4 will allow you to play games for multiple consoles. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. What is Alright, what's the details behind this? Uh, like, how is it any different from like. Multiple consoles. Wait, wait, wait. Loading article. Oh, wait. Like, oh. at the same Sony time? Ha that Sony cool. has confirmed that players will be able to access their PlayStation 4 game li library by logging into their account from any console. Speaking at the developed console in London, London Sony R&D senior team Neil Brown explained that the process is possible thanks to Play As You Download, which will allow players to begin playing a game even before they download the entire thing. Wait, so I, I can't you can do this working too well. No. So I can you see can just visit, lag out the asshole. So you can visit your friend's house, log into your account, and play any game from your digital library. So wait, you used to be able to do that from the Xbox, actually. You mean my friends? We used to like switch accounts and like uh, download the games from each other instead of having to buy them. No. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you still able to do that? I'm pretty sure. Mm 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, we used to do that because it's like, whoa, why pay? It doesn't take me very long to just download my games from my Xbox library onto my friend's console, so. Land. Exactly. Because. We just, like, switch accounts and then we just take their games and then switch back. Live is really quick with everything. I yeah. had a problem with Live this morning. I don't know why. Because I logged in. And I tried to play, um, because I have GTA downloaded, and I tried to play it, and my whole Xbox froze up, and I'm like, what? That happens. Like, Skyrim would freeze on me quite a bit. Hey, I have enough I hard like, drives to everything. Jesus. I've had so much trouble with Skyrim on the On Xbox. console. It was yeah. so worth it, though. Oh my god, I have, like, in one character, I have, like, 300 hours invested. I actually ran out of shit to do. 
<laughs> and now I just got it during the summer sales for PC. So I'm in trouble all over again because now there's mods. Yeah, I did, <laughs> I did the same thing, and I let you your old um. Skyrim files from your Xbox to your PC jailer? I wish. I didn't want to fucking restart. That'd be retarded. I wish, but I want to be a different race this time, so I'm going to be a Khajiit. There's, a I'm pretty sure you could get mods for that, though. Oh, like boy. Chase. <laughs> Not on Xbox. No, but on PC. Yeah, well, I haven't started my file on PC yet. Oh. Oh, okay. I have all my time invested into my Xbox. Skyrim file. So much better on PC. I know. It's I love it. fucking amazing looking. But I, I mean, it didn't look bad on Xbox. I mean, it was all on one disc. That fucking yeah. witchcraft that Bethesda has. <laughs> Rockstar and Bethesda, they're fucking witchcraft and putting all these giant games onto one disc. Yeah, but if you go play like GTA 4 on PC, Is it? Ultra Graphics, and then you go play it on Xbox, you're like, wow, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, I played it on my uh, that yeah. PlayStation 3D display. It looks really good. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I just find it annoying because I'm used to like no lag. So I go on Xbox and I like crash and it's like lose like ten. He, he literally like... flipped shit. Cause one time, me <laughs> uh, and our friend in our K were playing GTA on Xbox. Like, okay, we don't have it for PC. Cause I got my GTA on PC like a month later, and he was like, <laughs> he was like, we were in the game the whole time. We were on Xbox Live, and it's the only thing I heard from him. Like, man, what the fuck? Everything is better <laughs> on PC, man. What the fuck is wrong with these graphics? They crap, <laughs> man. Everything better on PC. Yeah. It is though. He was like, man, look at, look PC master race. Look how shitty quality. Me. Look how shitty quality. Look at the water. Look at the water. It's crabby. Oh, I'm yeah. like, oh my Fucking god. I hate on the water. I never said anything about the water. Uh, Everyone hates like on the water. It's in the lighting and shit. Hey, I there's only so much they can do, okay? Yeah. Even though. Tried. Isn't isn't GTA 5 supposed to be two disc? Yeah. Oh god, I hope For not. I hate the two disc thing. For Xbox. We have new it consoles. Is. New consoles. I don't want two discs. Halo things. 4 was two disc. I just want a Steam download for GTA 5, that's all I ask for in life. Gotta wait seven months. Damn. I didn't even bitch about Halo 4 being two discs, because that game was just so good. It was. It still was. is like, good. One disc was it. just for, like, downloading multiplayer stuff. Yeah, you didn't have to really use it again. No. The other one. I just dropped that out. That was terrible. I played the campaign once, and that was it. So what did you guys think of the Super Man of Steel movie, if you did see it? I didn't watch it. I don't care. I hate Superman. Okay. I'm the only one that saw it. Who do you, okay, Superman slash Batman movie confirmed. Okay. Okay, is it going to be like the Man of Steel Superman and like the Dark Knight Batman in one movie? No, it's going to be a different Batman. Okay, then I'm, Christian I'm, Bale I'm, I don't care. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Just forget about it. Christian Bale, he says he doesn't want to be Batman anymore. Well, it's so. fucked. It's gonna be shitty. Calling yeah. it now, it's gonna be shitty. Get Adam West back. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wait, who's the guy that was in Batman Forever? Um. um shit. I don't know. Get him back. Let me check. I wanna check this. Great movie. Movie. Okay, Ken can check it. Fuck you. Fuck. Batman Forever. That was okay. AT and T internet. Hurry up! Hurry up! Uh, you you have AT and T. <laughs> I'm sorry. Val Kilmer. Val. Does he Kilmer. still act? <laughs> yeah, he's like 53. In his he picture, can do it. he can do it. <laughs> he can do, do it. it. You can do One it. One reason Christian Bell won't come back to Batman is because he doesn't want to be known as Batman. He's like one of those snubby actors that be. It's kind of too late. He's one of those snubby actors that don't want to come back to the series and be known for that forever. He's it's like kind of too late for that though. Like seriously, I think some actors are literally scared to go to television. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Actually, it's like as soon as they hit television, it's like he's like, it's like some act and some actors might like, once you hit television, Down you're done. That. Just, just, just done. Sorry, it's like a roller coaster. You start up and then you go in television, then movies, 
then television, then nothing. <laughs> just nothing, just sitting Once you're doing episodes on sitcoms, you're done. <laughs> What's the like last good sitcom that came out in the last 10 years? Mm. Only thing I ever cared about was that 70s show. Yeah. yeah. That was it. Oh. Sorry, fuck Superman and Batman. Fuck them both. The mm -hmm. new features for the Xbox One. Mm. I could. What not are the new care features? Much. I didn't feel like reading that much. Uh, the new feet. Wait. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, I gotta read. Why can't it just be like bullet point? Like these are the features. Instead, it's like a bunch of fucking paragraphs. What the fuck? Okay, um, yeah, I don't care no more. <laughs> I didn't stuff. see anything about this because I think it was already known. It's too much. It's like talking about Rise, and nobody gives a fuck about Rise. I do. It doesn't What's look interesting. Rise? Say the last thirty seconds of gameplay. I don't give a fuck. No. What's uh, wrong with Rise? I just—it just doesn't seem like my game. Rome is amazing. I always called it Rice for some reason. <laughs> rice. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> to How is that racist? To Asians. Rice. Each other. Yeah. To Asians. Yeah. People totally. were complaining about like the quick time events, but then like it clearly showed during the E3 reveal that the quick time events were optional. <laughs> Because he didn't keep doing them. Basically, from like skimming through this article, it's talking about recording, um, how the camera, if you hold and control it towards the camera, the control when the controller is past the player, the game automatically loads controller profiles for that player. Now past. They already talked about all this. La 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 la. IG is full of shit. All right. EAC's tablets as the next big thing for gaming. Huh. You're on crack. That's like what Razer thought like a year ago. What's happened to their tablets? Nothing. No. If tablets are the next big gaming so. thing, I quit. <laughs> yeah. I quit gaming. Back to Monopoly. I hate like, tablets. Like I could imagine if like what they're doing, what EA is doing with Battlefield 4 with the whole commander thing, then yeah, you have to use a tablet to be commander. I think that's kind of cool, but other than that, it's useless. Pointless. They should if it if it does Happen. Like everything needs to be optional. Like if you want to use it, you can. True. If, if you're like an old school gamer, it likes to sit on their ass and not have to like look at anything besides the screen. Yeah. I don't understand why people look down basically complained, <laughs> complained, complained, complained <laughs> about you know the Xbox features before they removed the DRM and all that. Like what features? Like. Them having the connect always on at all times and all that. I don't know. That just seems creepy. I, I think you're gonna like put a fucking curtain over it or something like. <laughs> yeah. Like put some tape over it. It's like a webcam. Put you your bitch just, like, in. Put paper over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Turn I, it away. Whatever. Even though I do like the features on the PS4, I'm probably more comfortable with the Xbox more than anything. I just like, people are like, I'm gonna convert to. PlayStation 4, like if you've been playing your Xbox since like day one, there's no way you're gonna be able to convert. I'm telling you right now. I'm more I'm comfortable trying. with the Xbox controller than the PS4 controller. And the new Xbox PS3. controller is amazing. Yeah. They finally fixed that damn D-pad. That damn D-pad and really? the buttons. It's literally the most con comfortable controller ever. The 360. Um, they're, the they're saying though you could get like uh... the hand grip on the 360 controller. I prefer more. You can get controllers for Xbox One for the PS4 and vice versa. Really? Yeah. Just like Xbox 360 and PS3. I know. I know it's like some USB device you're able to like hook up to your consoles and you're able to use like if you want to use for some awkward reason you want to use your Xbox controller and your Wii is actually possible. Ew. Yeah, What's right. I well, definitely not on the Wii U. That's for damn sure. Poor Wii U, it gets no games. Wii U's a piece of shit. I gave fuck? it a shot. We booted it up like twice. It's like, it's sad it doesn't get any games at all. I tried to play like Monster Hunter. No. Those are the most awkward controls I've ever played in my life. It's like, you see all the new game commercials, it just says Xbox, Xbox 360, PS3. 
Xbox One, PS4. Not on Wii U. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo died to me when they made the Wii. After yeah. GameCube, that was it. They died to everyone. Yeah. And, like, it, it's a shame because I grew up playing Pi N64. That was my favorite console. It still is my favorite console. Oh, yeah. And they just ruined... I remember playing Pokemon Stadium all the time. I still have both of those games. Ooh. In the little control packs to play, like... Know. My red and blue and yellow version with. I honestly don't know how many times. This is on like GameCube, but I don't know how many times I've beaten Ocarina of Time. Just kind of on like... N64 or the, the... GameCube. Okay, because I have the the GameCube version where it's like has Majora's Mask, Ocarina yeah. of Time, and like the two first Zeldas. I remember. Yeah, about I remember GameCube playing it on the N64, sad. but I just didn't like it as much as... Wait, did I just say GameCube on the N64? <laughs> I meant Ocarina of Time on the N64. I don't know, I just liked it more on the GameCube. kind of makes me sad I don't have a GameCube anymore. I only played I... Majora's Mask on GameCube, but I beat Ocarina of Time like the first 20 that times was the game. on the N64. That was the game I was trying to think of, Chandler. When I, could I was think like about seven three years old. GameCube games. I played it way too many times. Was... I played I know, Majora's like, like, Mask. If I can name three GameCube games I remember playing was Majora's Mask, Mega Man X Command Mission, and Paper Mario. Even though people say... Wait, are you talking about GameCube? Yeah. Okay. Even though people The original say... Paper Mario is on N64. Yeah, isn't it Paper Mario on a GameCube too? I can't remember. I think there is one on the GameCube, but I don't... Let me see. I don't remember. I never played that one. I played, I like, Star Fox Adventures on GameCube, which was actually... I thought it was fun. I played a lot of Pokemon on, like, the Game Boys. A lot. And I still do, actually. Oh, uh, my Pokemon. favorite game on GameCube is, uh, Zoid's Battle Legends. <laughs> <laughs> How do we, how do we do not know that? What was that? It sounded like a Arguably uh, my favorite game ever. GameCube was good. <coughs> it was indeed good. That's when Blockbuster was still a team. <laughs> Blockbuster, oh my god. I like when they closed down and they sold off all their games. <laughs> I have so many, like, old games that I bought from Blockbuster, like N64 games and stuff. I remember it used to be like a bunch of blockbusters in Hollywoods in my area. Now they're just like, good damn, they're just like, for like the Hollywood video sign is still like lit up, but nobody's in there. <laughs> it's still there. Yeah, yeah mine was the still store, there. The store is still there, but just it's just people walking around like, oh. There's <laughs> nothing left in there. Hello. When our Hollywood closed down, I went in there and bought all the fucking candy. <laughs> just in bulk. Because <laughs> they have like the movie sized boxes of candy. Jesus. I can great. eat movie size candy. Movie size candy? Movie box candy. Whatever! <laughs> candy. <laughs> candy. He just yells at himself. It's funny. <laughs> okay. Next topic. Uh, Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't like Kingdom Hearts. No comment. Shots fired! Julia can't be follow you, Ken. I'm not mean, I'm just honest. <laughs> okay, don't go there. Okay. <laughs> you just crossed into dangerous territory. That's All right. exactly what he did. He actually got, like, blocked because of tweeting that. <laughs> oh, man. Moving on. I actually tweeted... <laughs> Oh God! I remember, her, I remember that tweet I tweeted at her. I was like, I was like, since I'm a loyal follower, it has enough follow you. I demand a little more TNA. <laughs> and I have not got blocked yet. I'm shocked. But next topic, since Ali is quiet. What? What? Sorry, well, I got a text. <laughs> you know you were doing. He's like, mm, I can't believe you even talking about her. Mm 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 mm. But, um, will Kingdom, not, not Kingdom Hearts, but will Elder Scroll Online be console ready? You just completely skipped the China thing. Oh, hi China. It's like one of the biggest things. 
Chinese uh, history. Like, so no. China is likely to unban. Um, I forgot what it's unbanning. Foreign consoles, consoles in general. Welcome to the current century. Yeah. After thirteen years, thirteen long years, they're actually considering it. Imagine how much yeah, they'll boost your economy up there. It's weird but it's, how it's They're like, just considering it. It's not like... Go. Nothing fun is in China. Anymore. It's like... It's funny though, because, um... It says to unban foreign consoles yet, like, was it like 80% of the consoles made or made in China? <laughs> Lol. Ironic. Lols. Everything's made in China. Ow, fuck. Except for good... Or Taiwan. Taiwan? <laughs> I find like musical instruments hard to be good from Asia. Ah, I just thought about another in Nintendo 64 game. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a Donkey Kong game and it had the attachments for the bongos. Oh, I hated that game. The game was terrible. What? It was like a Nintendo 64 game, and the ta instead of using a controller, you had to use bongos. It was like Guitar horrible. Hero with Donkey Kong. They were like barrels. <laughs> they were like drums. <laughs> it was, it was terrible. Like, uh, it was, it was terrible, on, but it was fun. It was on GameCube, that's what it was on. Was it on GameCube? Yeah. I don't remember it anymore. I remember like it being shit. on GameCube. It was god awful. Oh. It was called like Donkey Konga or something like that. <laughs> it's like, you had the bang on the drums, like. Boom, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. It was so retarded. I just Googled it, and it's in the 20 worst game accessories ever, Is so. It really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I want to see that, man. Hold on, I'll be right back. But they would, like, people would trade them in at, like, the local, like, record exchange places, and they'd have it for, like, 60 bucks. Oh, God, those look horrible. Yeah. <laughs> DK Bongo Blast. <laughs> It's really bad. I played it. It's a it. horrible name. It was almost as bad as, like, Hey You Pikachu on N64. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's oh quite as bad as Hey You Pikachu, though. Brink? No, I think Hey You Pikachu is worse than... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What did I just come into? Hey You Pikachu. You're like, you're like, yeah, I was like... I don't know, like nine years old playing this game. I'm like, yeah, Pikachu, he's gonna listen to me. I'm like, pick up the apple. And he picks up like a fucking pineapple or something. <laughs> like, go fuck yourself, Pikachu. Close you enough. Did not <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You remember when, um, I think the only reason a Wii U strive, I'm not Wii U, but the Wii strived as the way it did is because actually, I think women. Actually thought they would actually lose weight from playing the game. Mothers, I have mothers. That. Fit. <laughs> the Wii you I mean the Wii Fit. The Wii Basically, Fit. Basically, it told me my center of balance is off about two feet. <laughs> and like, I have over physical. physical I don't know how they can analyze your weight off a Wii controller. <laughs> it's like you need to well, lose no, weight. <laughs> I had the um, like the little pad that you would stand on. So it's like a pressure pad. Kind of yeah, thing. and it would tell me that I was about as physically active as a seventy-year-old. Seventy-year-old. <laughs> oh yeah, so. we, me and my mom used to do like that boxing thing on Wii Sports, and then we used to. She used to like. Kendall, okay, Kendall, okay, no, we gotta check. We gotta check if it's actually accurate. And then she, <laughs> she like she would check the pop, like whatever the exercise she was doing. Like you have an energy of a seventy-five-year-old, and then she would just go to bed depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I got the it's worst like game, bro. pain ever from playing boxing too much. <laughs> like, my arms hurt yeah. for like a week after when I first got my Wii. Try to play boxing. It was like... <laughs> so I played though. bowling and I threw my controller at the TV on accident because I didn't oh, I secure the strap. You gotta listen to that warning. <laughs> it's there for a reason. It's funny, at the start of the whole thing, people were like, nah, I'm not gonna use a strap, and then you see like a bunch of pictures of, like busted screen <laughs> shit. That was me. That was those people. <laughs> oh my god, I can't I don't need my strap. <laughs> see, like, the aftermath. Good thing, like, I didn't have one of those old, like, tube TVs where it's like a glass screen it's like 
get plastic, near, like, I guess, and it kind of bounced TV. right off. It's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, Oh, man. All right. I was like one of the only people, I think, to actually use the strap at first. <laughs> I remember before the Wii, they had like those virtual <laughs> bowling games where it's like actually a bowling ball. I remember what? I tried to play baseball and it was so <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> like, the only way you could get a home run is you just flick your wrist. Like, you just flick your wrist and you get a home run. I'm like, okay, Wii, you win this time. So you could, ju <laughs> you could just like sit there on the couch, like flicking your wrist. <laughs> Look at that. I'm like, click, 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 click. <laughs> I'm an MLB now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for a pro. I think the most entertaining entertaining thing that came out of that from like the beginning was making really ugly Wii's. The <laughs> yes, I remember making like tanks and like oh, it was it was awesome. They had the ability to like have a dick nose. They put <laughs> a dick nose in there. <laughs> I remember, like, uh, I used to be like an artist with that shit. I'd come up with the coolest faces, and sometimes <laughs> I tried to create biggest. Squibber, and he looked, he looked like he was retarded. <laughs> yeah, I had, like this one-eyed, <clears throat> this one-eyed fucking dude that looked like a potato, <laughs> and his name was like Dick Ass or something like that. <laughs> so that was like a new thing. That was kind of cool. And since we're talking about Nintendo, I never did, I never did notice like how really smart Nintendo was when they came out with the DS and their handhelds. That you don't have to have a game to play a like multiplayer with somebody else. It was almost like, yeah, that was so cool. Like I remember like a peer to peer. Am I right? In like elementary school, I remember like a bunch of us getting like DSs and we'd all play like Mario Kart or some shit. I never did understand how unique that was. It was so cool. But enough about Nintendo. I say honestly, with the modern moves they're doing, they honestly do not deserve the attention. Da, 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 da. They need to go back about ten years, and then I'll buy their shit again. Yeah. I still like their handhelds a lot. Yeah, their handhelds are good. They're like I play my. That's the only thing they're really good at is handhelds now. That's all. That's all they're. Fucking four anymore. Besides, you know, Mario 2004. Or Luigi. You know, what character is gonna get his new get a new IP now? Wait, like, isn't Nintendo working on a new IP now? Working on um, what? Nintendo working on a new IP. I have no idea. I don't care about Nintendo anymore. Sad place. It's all about the HD graphics. <laughs> After they sold Rare, and, you know, Rare got really shitty, and then they went to, like, this the whole most, motion control thing, I stopped caring. I remember the most terrible, when I think about the most terrible Wii game I ever played was, like, Mario and Sonic go to the Olympics or something like that. <laughs> oh, God. I know what you're talking oh, about. That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember getting, like, ten minutes into it, I was like, no, I'm not playing this ever again. <laughs> Oh God. man! What are you talking about? This is a good game. It was horrible. <laughs> Mario and Mario games. <laughs> I think I had that for DS. I had that to. I don't know why I got it for DS. I don't know how one person can play it. I just don't get it anymore. But next topic: the U.S. government sees League of Legends as a sport. China you sees it as the a Elder sport Scrolls, Huh? You skip the Elder Scrolls. Weren't we just talking about that? What? Oh. Yeah, we... Wait. I don't know anymore. You're skipping I think we shit. were just talking about it. But we, like, automatically jumped into something else. Oh. We were talking... We went into little detail about it. And Nick, I think you guys were talking about Skyrim or something like that. that and then we lot. switched to Nintendo, right? I don't even know. When I quick click on the link to that article, it takes me to the Star Wars thing. It's the same link. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Let's move on to number 14. <laughs> <laughs> well, the U.S. government sees League of Legends as a sport now. Retarded. Call of Duty is a sport. Swag. <laughs> we can't, well, I don't know what America's doing anymore. Supposedly. It's League of Legends. That's like. It's a sport in China. Yeah, but it, well. Okay, you do have a point there. 
I feel like I'm the only person that can't get into games like League of Legends or Smite. Smite. Smite's cool. I find though. Smite so much fun though. Yeah, Smite's a blast. I, c I don't know. If I can actually like motivate myself to play it because I'm so terrible at it. I, I don't have exactly. anybody to play with. Honestly. Same thing with me. I just like, I want to play, but I suck. We do open lobbies of Smite. Nick plays Smite all the time. Most of the time. This is this has been my sleeping schedule for the past two days. Wake up at three o'clock. I see Nick, you know, spoon streaming, and I look. I was like, should I play? And I look at Smite, and then I look at the time, and I notice how tired I am. I'm like, nah, I'm good, and just go to bed. I like and look at Smite, and knowing I have to update it. It's like, damn. Let's <laughs> play something. Like he streams Smite. I have like <laughs> multiple opportunities to play with him, but I just look, and I'm like, ugh, no. You just yeah, if you ever wanted to play with us, just shoot me a message on Skype. Alright. <laughs> Has anybody played Tribes? Tribes Ascend? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I played it. I have not. It's fucking amazing. It's hilarious. I haven't even played with it. <laughs> it's like... I'm kind of scared of getting addicted to Smite like I did with World of Warcraft. That was a terrible ha It looks habit. like Planet Side. Almost. It's like Halo, except you're PC. constantly on the move. Yeah, like it's like, of... um... And the maps are really open and big. Yeah. It's a really it's... fun game, though. You should try it. That sounds exactly like Planetside. <laughs> it's not like Planetside at all. It's like a complete... No? Because I really like Planetside. It's a good game. I don't know. Download it. It's free. Try it. It's by high res. Yeah. All right. That's legit. It's not terrible. <clears throat> uh, next, 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 next. I don't know if you read the topic number 15, which is was a male MJ Spider Man news. That's not gonna happen. I doubt it. Male. It, it was just basically an excerpt from um, the interview they, they had with um, Andrew Garfield. Wait, yeah. they want him to be gay? Yeah. No, he said he wants. He said he wants Mary Jane to be a male. So Yeah, gay. they want her to be gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it says on here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that. What? <laughs> Why can't we discover that Peter is exploring his sexuality? It's hardly even groundbreaking. So Spider-Man is he dead anyway. What the fuck? I think it won't fly over too well because they're trying to follow the comics somewhat with the Spider-Man. Spider-Man's dead anyway. In the comics. Yeah, but like this is like before all that. Uh, Clearly, like it's way before. Eh. Then they had it. I don't know, it wouldn't be a good idea anyway, because I know like a couple, almost last year, if I'm right, they had like problems with. They were taking, talking about how Green Lantern was a racist and all of that. Oh. <laughs> the movie was so bad, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> like in the comics, they said, was a not. Um, how Jordan was a Nazi, a racist, and a sexist, apparently. <laughs> they can nitpick anything, so... A racist? He was just a douche. <laughs> I don't know, everything's trying to be politically correct anymore, and it's just... It's not even funny. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if anything, it's just gonna cause, like, controversy. Like, why don't they make him gay? Why does Spider-Man have to be gay? Why don't they make him a woman and have him be lesbian? Like it's Spider-Man, Spider-Man. It's a comic book. Oh, Just leave it alone. I don't understand when I don't. I will never understand when people will actually take away reality from actuality. Like people get just get their heads so far up their ass. They just be like, oh, oh, Spider-Man killed the innocent woman. Real life. Cancel the whole comic. Sue yeah. Marvel. Sue DC. <laughs> Sue everybody. Did they even like ask Sue the Dan pencil. Lee about it? Or Stanley, not Dan. <laughs> Stan Lee Stanley about Diddley any of Diddley it? Diddley like, Lee. <laughs> they didn't get his like fucking input on it. Stan Lee he is badass. Be. He doesn't even give a fuck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No fucks to you. He just be at Comic Con just laying on the fucking tables like, what's up? I created all of this. What's good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Stanley, how do you feel like uh, Green Lantern being gay? He's like, what the fuck do I look like? I give a fuck. 
Like, that would be a really stupid question. How do you feel about the Green Lantern controversy? He's like, I feel like Stanley would somehow reply like this. Like, why would Stanley honestly give a fuck about one cartoon, not cartoon, comic book character when he has like a million comic book characters he created? <laughs> okay, uh. Wait. You're just talking about Stan Lee, and then you're talking about Green Lantern? Yeah. Wait, Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, Stan Lee didn't make Green Lantern. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Stan Lee's Marvel. God damn! <laughs> I just thought about Stan Lee and then Green Lantern came to mind. I don't know what I was thinking. We were talking about Green Lantern, but... We were talking about Spider-Man being gay, and then I was talking about Green Lantern being a Nazi. A Nazi. <laughs> and I somehow transitioned it to Stan Lee. That's DC Comics. God damn. What the fuck? This chick on Facebook, she just like posts a picture, she's like, God, my allowance today is like 500 bucks, what? That's Stupid fuck, bitches I wish I on Facebook be taking pictures. I ain't got no worries, I'm like, oh my god. Unless that's a job, fuck. <laughs> that's crazy. Cause like, I actually have one of my actual friends on Facebook, and she like posted to selfie with the shitty filter on, and she had like a music lyric. And it was like a little way music lyric, <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck you!" And I unfriended her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "What are you doing with your life?" Because I lived in Cleveland most of my life. Everybody like worship Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> oh, Machine Gun Kelly! Yeah. yeah, and he came to the mall in the city where I live, Machine and he got arrested. He got arrested. <laughs> and it was funny because the entire crowd that was there was like 13 year old girls. Machine <laughs> Kelly, I love you. You're from my broke down ass city. <laughs> Cleveland's. Cleveland. Cleveland. Did you ever see those Cleveland tourism videos that somebody made? Our fish has eight. <laughs> yeah, that one. What? <laughs> you need to watch them. I'll, so I'll cool. link you. I'll link you to it afterwards. There's two of them, and everything is 100 percent true. I, my dad used to live in Cleveland. And it felt Did you ever watch there. the um the stupid fucking cat video? No. I'm a stupid fucking cat. No, I. Well, it's it's the same guy who made it. I have to check it out then. So my dad like... lived in Cleveland for like like three years, and he said it was it was shitty. <laughs> he couldn't yeah. say any good things about it. Cleveland is Detroit Junior. <laughs> It's not bankrupt. <laughs> oh. It is. It's really gross. I mean, they're trying to turn it around. I guess it's getting kind of better. But... Isn't like every street in Cleveland like not even done? <laughs> it's been under construction for like 200 years. <laughs> There's a problem there. So... Also, I forgot. Like they found like three dead bodies oh in God. one of the neighborhoods, and they're like on a body hunt right now. They're like, oh, there's probably more bodies. They still so, like all Chicago. The... Jesus. <laughs> like, all the people are, like, g doing body hunts in, like, the abandoned houses, because that's where they found some of the bodies, was, like, in an abandoned building. Well, at least in that Chicago where everybody gets, like, killed every day. Like, crime up here is, like, crazy. The crime in Edmonton is fucked. Like, damn. It's like, I don't know if we had legit, like, gangs here, but it's... Many times people like black kids get shot, little children get killed up here like crazy. And like people trip balls when Trayvon Martin, like all that crazy crowd bull crap, but it's like a million Trayvons that get killed out here like every day. It doesn't yeah. even matter. Cleveland's really bad too. Nowhere is safe, honestly. Like this guy that was killing these chicks got his inspiration from a serial killer that they busted like a couple years ago in Cleveland who killed 11 people and he buried them in his yard wow okay. in a in like a like a Cleveland residential neighborhood I'd be like, like you know the houses are kind of close to each other that'd be horrible <laughs> like knowing like finding out your neighbor has killed like 11 people buried them in the fucking ground next to your house is like yeah it was like this Jesus. one thing in my neighborhood is like this girl got raped, and then like you know one of those little mini wooden posts that's nailed to the ground. They pushed like they're nailed, not nailed, but like 
put her on top via her vagina on top of that post and everybody woke up the next morning she was just standing there dead like Ew. literally that's how brutal it is out here Ew. I, I think with any big city you're gonna have like fucked Weird up shit, shit. <laughs> Alright, enough about crime. Enough about dead bodies. And vaginas. Vaginas on posts. <laughs> well, we got Comic Con to talk about. Godzilla! I know nothing. Godzilla, Godzilla, fuck everything That's else. That's probably my favorite thing about it, the season 4 thing. I don't know. You can talk about Comic- I mean, not Comic Con, you can talk about Godzilla Alley. Go ahead, talk about it. Okay, so Legendary set up a Godzilla experience where they used the building to make, like, a, like storefronts. Uh -huh. And to make it- it was like a- basically a museum, but it was themed to look like a mall with storefronts. And they actually had, like, a sushi bar in there that was fully functional. And they actually displayed like the Godzilla 2000 actual costume there and like some other movie props. And I guess like after four minutes of being in there, like sirens would go off and they would usher you into like this other room. And uh, they would like scan you for radiation and stuff. And you'd be like watching what? these scientists. Yeah, it was cool. It was like you'd be watching these scientists like flick switches and shit. And they're like, and then on a radar, it shows Godzilla coming to. Like onto San Francisco, and that uh, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, and then after that, they get you to go into an elevator, but like they made the people shut off their cameras for this part. And I guess through the window, you can see like you can feel footsteps, like giant footsteps, oh my and God. you see a giant silhouette of the new Godzilla in the movie, and he roars, and then he like moves on, and then they let you out. That's uh -huh. fucking sick. Yeah, I they made it like San Diego. What the fuck? Yeah, they made it. They like overdid it. Like, they're really hyping up this movie, and I'm really excited for it. If, so it's it's, like if it bombs, yeah. if it bombs, oh my god! Yeah, all that I don't no, know. all that like, attraction like, money is like going down the drain. People were talking about like Pacific Rim being like the test for the new Godzilla movie, yeah. just to see how that would play out. But I guess they they finished filming, that. they finished filming the new Godzilla movie like two days before Comic Con. So, cool. It's amazing. There's still stuff to do after filming, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Godzilla is going to be like CGI, of course. I just they need to redeem themselves after the '97 Godzilla movie. Oh yeah. <laughs> As much as I love that Godzilla and the design, it was really just, it wasn't up to par now for a Godzilla flick. I need to go see movies because I haven't went to the movies since like Man of Steel. No, this is the end. That was the last movie I saw. The last that was actually a really like, good movie. The last movie I saw at the theater was World War Z. World War Z was really fucking deep. <laughs> uh, it was alright. I just saw Despicable Me too. Oh, sweat. <laughs> that was a good movie. I didn't go see. I haven't even seen either of them. This is the end. Was like really fucking funny as hell. That trailer didn't know justice. That was actually a really good movie. Yeah. I saw Satan's penis. Oh yeah! All oh, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh man, that was too amazing. Like it was side joke the CG, the CGI on the throbbing <laughs> and then it gets cut off. Movie. Like the I was really surprised and taken back by like the CGI demons because they didn't show any of that in the trailers. But and then all of a sudden the, you okay, got these giant go demons. The penis, but did you see the high detail in that penis? I don't yeah. know. It was just like too high detail for me, honestly. It reminded me of like Diablo. Like <laughs> I, like I looked. And the first thing I thought, penis, and it was a penis. I'm like, what? <laughs> Diablo's dick! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you can tell they actually did, they actually put so much work into it, because as it was walking, it was like throbbing. I'm like, oh my god. It was like shaking back and like, forth. <laughs> His dick was going around. I think 
<laughs> That's pretty well hung. Oh, I forget. Oh, Journey's, <laughs> wait, Journey's watching the stream. She's like, I saw Satan's penis. I'm scared. <laughs> All right. Anything else we need to talk about, or anything else you want to talk about? What was what's the thing with Vin Diesel? Wait, nobody gives a fuck about Vin Diesel. You keep like skipping over topics. Like, I just see to one time. Okay, okay, Vin Diesel. No one cares. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. I don't even know why I brought it up actually. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My Are point is exactly. like a Fast and Furious crossover <laughs> with the Avenger. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. He just fucking just shows up in that. What the? He, in the new one, he's like the Dodge Daytona with the big ass wing on the back. <laughs> XX mixing with Fast and Furious. Oh I could only imagine how shitty that would be. <laughs> Avengers 2 with Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> like, what superhero Paul role Walker could he possibly Tyrese. play? Um, shit, I don't know what he could play. <laughs> also, movie I'm excited, upcoming movie I'm excited for is Kick-Ass 2. I actually saw the trailer for it. It looks pretty good. What's the main guy in Kick Ass, the actor? Uh, I don't know. Let me search. He's the main character in Godzilla. Too. Aaron Ter Taylor Johnson. Yeah, oh, he's that the main character isn't in the he? Godzilla isn't he married movie. to like some old chick? I don't know. What? He's like married he to some like, forty-year-old. He dropped off my radar after Kick Ass. Oh, so. and then I saw he was in the Godzilla movie, and I'm like, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go whenever. Oh, Brian Cranston's in the Godzilla movie, though. Ah. That's all that matters. Yeah, this guy, Aaron Taylor Johnson, is married to like a 43 year old, and he's like 23. That's he weird. likes cougars. <laughs> cougars. <laughs> Milfs. <laughs> I don't understand how you can marry a 43 year old woman. At 23. That's my mom's age. Oh. So it looks like you married my mom. So can you imagine that, like someone age your age marrying your mom? Wait, right? she's not 42. She's 46. She's almost 50. Okay. That's too she's sick. She's older than my mom. <laughs> Twice his age. She's older oh. than both my parents. Oh my god, that is sick. Although I could see myself like marrying like an older guy if he was really hot. Does it, I don't know. Does it go both ways? Oh, my Okay. I don't know. I don't, well, usually if it goes both ways, the guy's like loaded. But <laughs> what? That's usually what happens with like old dudes. Oh, dude. that like, he old man penis. Hugh Hefner. Ew, no. That's like <laughs> no, Hugh no, but like it's just, just an example. Now. He has a bunch of young women. I mean, this pe this just penis is just dust in a jar. <laughs> you just, you just like, fucking, you just kissing like, women now. Like all chicks get fucking boners over Robert Downey Jr. and he's old. -er. But he's not Hugh Hefner. No, he's not that old. I mean, like, he's old enough to be my dad, but <laughs> Hugh Hefner is almost ninety, ninety year old, ninety years old. What the fuck? He buys them tits. <laughs> Bitch, marry me, I'll get you low, He has... He's, he probably has more hotter girlfriends than I will ever have. While it is, his current wife has a waist size at 25. That's like what I said, though. It, like, she is the cool. anatomy of a tree branch. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired! <laughs> The only I, curves those women have are their fake tits. <laughs> Seriously, it's like fucking two big large watermelons. I can't believe that. Like, that can't be healthy though. It's not, and they have to get them redone every ten years because they have like expiration can you, dates. Can, can you imagine have like big large racks and you just taking off your bra and you're really skinny and your boobs just drag you down to the ground? I'd imagine it'd like kill your back. <laughs> yeah, they get just sagging problems. your boobs across the floor while your back is like, oh, okay, time to go to bed. 
As, like, girls with just naturally big boobs, they have to get, like, breast re reductions when they get older because it hurts their backs. So. Okay, now I'm thinking about a rap song. <laughs> my back, my back, and I'm <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anything else besides boobs and Hugh Hester, Hugh Hefner, Hugh Hester. Dust Vic? Hester. 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 Yes. <laughs> Alright, anything else, honestly? Ow. I just hit my leg. Chandler just hit his leg. Let's, you know, let's discuss that. Are you bruised? No. Are you bleeding? Yes. No. Do you need a <laughs> band-aid? No. Does mommy need to kiss it? Are you gonna get a scar? Actually have... I hit it on a point where I already have a scar. Well, it's scar tissue, so it's already stronger than normal tissue, so you're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you're gonna live. Pussy. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> okay, anything else? Yay. Final call? I'm gonna live. Let's discuss penis sizes. Alright, hold on, let me get my room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <kidding. laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of like South Park where they like measure dick sizes and then post it on the fucking board in the hallway. <laughs> and, like Cartman has the smallest dick. <laughs> you can't see it, that's why. Is <laughs> no, it's like he was telling everyone how he has like the biggest dick, then they go like measure theirs and then he ends up having the smallest. <laughs> Oh my god. It was such a fucking weird episode. I don't even. I don't wanna. I don't, I don't know what to say. After you just said that. I have the biggest <laughs> dick here. Oh. Oh my. Maybe. Forget about you. Can I see it? Does <laughs> <laughs> Nick know about this? That's... Ask Nick about it. He knows. Ask Okay. Would he send me pics? <laughs> Probably not. Damn. He wants to keep this bad boy all to himself. Boxers or briefs? Sharing. <laughs> Sharing. <laughs> Big bowl. <laughs> How about a bowl just the size of a bowling ball? <laughs> oh, God. Why are we doing this? So I'm gonna. Okay, you have 11,000 tweets. Thousand tweets. You do? Okay, you wow, must have I'm a, a fucking big... loser. They should have 16k tweets. And they're mostly dumb tweets. I over 100,000. Shut the fuck up. We save more followers than I do tweets. 18,000. You must have oh, a big large dick. Oh, shots Holy fired. Shit. Holy shit. I, I didn't hear what you said. Because your big dick is blocking my ears. <laughs> my YouTube <laughs> dick is so big. Is reaching all the way up to Chicago. My e dick. Yo, e dick. Oh, that. so if your e dick is big, what about Spoon's e dick? It's massive. Not really. I just hear but him what about Spoon? I mean, I Spoon. I already said Spoon. What the fuck? Nova's e dick. Then on my other account, I have more. I don't care about his e dick. <laughs> That's gross. No. Ew. We took it too far. I'm sorry. Must crawl up and hold. <laughs> Speaking of edicts, I was at the DMV today because I lost my driver's license. How? And I was sitting. Huh? How? How did you? Because when I went back home to Ohio, I got really drunk like every day, and I had to keep whipping out my license to be ID'd, and I lost it somewhere. Oh. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I went to the wallet? DMV, and I was sitting next to this guy who was from California, and he like loudly was bragging about how internet famous he was. He's like, <laughs> oh, I have these problems with my fans, and I know this guy who worked on Workaholics. That I and work I know on the game <laughs> station, <Workaholics. man." laughs> And he's like, I know this chick that has, like, the most Instagram followers in the world. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm going to oh, fucking man. castrate this guy. I don't work for YouTube. I'm part of the daily motion. 
Yeah, and then, like, we both left at the same time, and he just, like, hopped in his red convertible Mustang and just, like, sped off. Sounds like the kind of guy that just has the small stick. <laughs> he probably does have the smallest stick. Because he, like, he did his hair all nice, go. and he's, like, wearing nice clothes. Seriously, if you wear, like, a suit to DMV, you should feel bad. He wasn't. He was wearing, like, some shirt about I left my heart in California or something stupid like that. But, like, okay, you compare so him to, like, everybody else in the DMV, because, like, every time I go to the DMV, there's either, like, fucking weirdos in Colorado or, or fucking Ohio. weirdos. Everywhere. Every DMV I go to, there's always, there's never, like, one normal-looking person in there for some reason. Oh, boy. Plus, I was kind of in one that was, like, a little ghetto-y. <laughs> in the hood. Yeah. Colorado has a couple... Not even remotely close to like Cleveland Hood, but I mean they're a bit run down. One thing I noticed about Colorado, a lot of YouTubers are moving towards there. Well, it's mostly just the creatures. That's is it. is like the renting around there very cheap or? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Holy shit! It's over a thousand dollars for a two-bedroom apartment. Damn. Really? It looks for? Yeah. I'm really fucked. I want to go get a house because this apartment's too Looks small. Looks like my black ass <laughs> in Chicago. Chicago. I like wanted the to move back to Ohio because it's so much cheaper. Chicago's the second worst place to buy houses and shit because they cost a ton. Not houses. I live in an apartment. A two bedroom so. apartment up here is eight hundred, eight hundred sixty seven. We got like a three bedroom apartment in Cleveland was like that much. Okay. Not like Cleveland, Cleveland, but like suburbs, you know. There's always cheaper Suburbia. stuff in the suburbs. What? I don't know what I just I mean, said. I mean, I lived in a nicer suburb. It wasn't like hood at all. And you could get apartments there that are like decent, like way bigger than this one for like half the price almost. Yeah. That'd be great. So I'm like, oh, fuck Colorado. Our gas prices are cheaper, but rent is horrible. Gas here is fucking horrible. Like at one point, it was. Never mind. You guys won't understand the rating. You guys go with gallons. <laughs> Weirdos. Chicago. Oh, fuck you Canadians. In your igloos. <laughs> How many miles per gallon does your sled dogs get? Ah, uh, kilometers. Kilometers. <laughs> 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 What the fuck, cat? Get off my mouse. No, get it. States are like the only people to use miles and gallons and all that. Well, we well, Chicago has superior. the highest gas prices. I did not know that. California has like the highest gas prices. Our California cat. just sucks in general. What do you have, faggots? Cat, get off my beer bottle. Cat, what? quit hitting my mic. Cat just boy. no name, just cat. Well, her name, she was named by the shelter, and it's blue, but we just call her cat. The fuck? It's a horrible name for a cat. Yeah, well, it was even cat. worse. <laughs> it was even worse, but we shortened it, so. Her full name was Bluebell. <laughs> what? Fuck you. Bluebell. Cat, yeah. Stick cat, yeah, stick that. to cat. 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 Shithead. <laughs> Pussy! <laughs> bitch. We call her bitch sometimes. Bitch! <laughs> what? Hey, quit eating that zip tie, you fucking bitch. What? Where do you even have zip ties at? Well, it's like parts from my computer, like the boxes. I left some zip ties on my desk. Oh. She's eating them. Alright. Truly anything else? Cats. Alright, cats. People are so dumb. There's this picture floating around. It's like the old Michael Jackson like dangling the baby over balcony thing. Except it's oh with the uh, royal couple. And oh, their no. new baby. <laughs> I'm so sick of hearing about that. Oh, God. 
I'm there's like looking better through to the talk comments. about in the UK. My mom. Hey, my well, mom got Well, right an now argument. there's like the whole like anti-porn thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that was stupid. Me and my mom freaking argued about the UK. Like, um, she's like, I knew it was gonna be a boy because when I when I gave birth to you, I had to hold you under like under a certain position. I'm like, I don't want to hear this, mom. Just get the fuck out. <laughs> Just stop. I don't. No. Okay, I I don't care. Please don't. No. I like the way you impersonate your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotypical black mom. Like. Yeah. <laughs> My mom is so stereotypical. Shoot, as of right now, I just walked into the room and I said I'll be right back. She's watching like Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the most ratchetest show you could possibly get. What does ratchet mean? <laughs> You don't know what ratchet means? No. Ghetto. Let me read you the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> urban Dictionary definition of ratchet. <clears throat> Alright. A diva. Mostly from urban cities and ghettos that has a reason to believe she is every man's eye candy. Unfortunately, she is wrong. Typical signs to be aware of included but not are not limited to. Owning a Blackberry. Blair's anything by Drake, Two Chains, Nicki Minaj, Gucci Mane, Waka Flocka, Little F Little Wayne, T Pain, Cali Swag District, any other garbage entertainment rapper. Riley quotes lyrics from dumb rappers. Has a weave of a bird nest at the tempest hit <laughs> at the tree it was in, and died at least. <laughs> Where's torn? Hilarious. Where's torn? Leg and stockings, mostly of fishnets. <laughs> Unpo unpolished 8 inch heels I remember uh, in like the hood hood of Cleveland you could find like weaves like laying on the street <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tumbleweed <laughs> my a weed tumbleweed comes straight from Africa so we'll let you know <laughs> Be having they're, just like, they're just like eject them and just like leave them on the you ground you have like a streak in my head that looks like a Duracell battery I'll be having black and brown uh, yeah, that's, that's ratchet. Mostly ghetto ratchet women. Everybody like, yo, nigga, who are? Especially a ratchet black woman who says Some nigga reason. a lot. And her name's Shanene. Oh. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's it, just, oh. Do you know a Shanene? Yes, Shanene Jenkins. <laughs> you obviously have not checked my tweets. Like, every picture is like, or most of my tweets are, have included her, or Honey Boo Boo Mom, you know? <laughs> have you Shinene looked at her? Like, <laughs> it even <laughs> says in my Twitter bio, once tr a tranny once tried to sue me, Shanene Jenkins look alike, John McCain's love child. <laughs> <laughs> I went to beauty school with some real ghetto chicks, and the one was Shanene, and the one was Asia. <laughs> Asia? <laughs> <laughs> probably she was so ghetto, she probably had one of those long nails. Had like she multiple. Did. Oh my god. She had like multiple those six ones. inch fake nails. Oh, gross. How and then like she would get into like fights with the other girls, and like. My they weave! Would, like pull off their hair. Shut up, girl. Your weave be coming from Walgreens. My weave comes straight imported from Africa from the bald headed little <laughs> Your children. Your weave is nappy. Your weave nappy. Look, look at them. Look at them curls. They even not curls. They nap. They nap. <laughs> Why? How are you so perfect at that, Ken? Cause I'm black. I like <laughs> <laughs> it's in if my there blood. Is one talent I wish I could have is. The ability to talk as quick as they did. <laughs> like, whatever, 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 excuse me, honey. Honey, you don't need to be talking to me like that. You need to back up before you get they smacked the fuck up. I'm from the reason. hood. I'm from the hood. Look at this little white girl here. She's a little Barbie doll here. Yeah, that's what they, they call me a little Barbie doll. <laughs> look, at that, look at how straight and curly I am. They're like, girl, I want your hair. Girl, I want your hair, girl. And then they try and braid it. Like, oh, can I braid your hair? Your hair's so straight and beautiful. Girl, do you have to do your hair in the morning? No, no, I don't. Oh, uh, girl, I have to do my hair. I have to use my curling islands. I have to put my black olive sheen, all my moisturizers, <laughs> and you know all of that, right? Your hair is so natural. Look how curly it is, girl. You better keep it's, up. They would see how soft it is. <sighs> it's so soft, man. My hair feel like cotton. I feel like your I'm reliving like... beauty school all over again. <laughs>
Can you be like the perfect They were so person? nice though, they loved me. Oh yeah, I also went to a I went to school with a girl named Peaches. Oh. <laughs> I went to school with a girl named Precious. Like the movie? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, love Peaches though. She's the sweetest little thing ever. One chick that went was she light skinned? Diamonds? No. Damn. <laughs> Asia was crazy. Define crazy. <laughs> like this kind of... was crazy. Wait, black like it was it this typical oh. black girl crazy like. Yeah, like, like ape like, shit crazy like, like coming and they're like hey y'all how y'all doing okay yeah and like who crazy. touched my desk who touched my curling eyelids like i just grabbed some of your oil don't touch my stuff it's my well, stuff i use my money i use my money <laughs> like who's gonna watch my kids oh i can't work overtime i can't do overnight school my baby need to get picked up from the daycare mcdonald's <laughs> daycare i be they having a high quiet you know how you know my food stamps have to pay for that. It's taking two dollars out of my food stamps and my Medicaid. This is too much. Woo! <laughs> You're going way too far, Ken. <laughs> yeah, he could probably go like that all day. I don't remember that much. I just remember they all had like their kids had different dads and everything, and they would talk oh, about that. Oh god, are we truly done now? <laughs> I think we're done. I'm I'm really, from doing all of that, I'm really flustered. From doing all of that, I'm just like really hot. <laughs> See, like, I wish I could do that because it's like a talent. Like, literally, yeah. if, I haven't, if I haven't told, if, you were, if I would have never told somebody I was black, actually people would think I'm white. Yeah. I thought you were white at first. Thanks, Adam. Thanks. I have to I tweet a picture of my skin to prove that I am white. I mean, black, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Damn, nothing, wrong with it. nothing wrong with it. Alright, uh, we, we are truly done now, right? Well, we clocked in else. a good like an hour and a half. Which is good. It's bedtime. Bedtime? Ew. <laughs> I have like an old lady sleeping schedule. But you're an adult. You're not adult. You know what? I've had my fun. I'm old now. And it's time to go to bed at 9 o'clock. Alright, really. we're done. Thanks for watching the cab. Thanks for watching. Ew, <laughs> who did that? <laughs> that was her. Ew, I thought it was Chandler. <laughs> Chandler must, does the most weirdest voice ever. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now, faggots. <laughs>